So tell us about your car. Yeah, hi, my name is Peter and uh, this is my uh, Rome Magna. Um, it's a 95 Holden Rodeo and if you have a look inside the, uh, the engine bay there, you'll see it's a little bit empty, plenty of room. Um, it's got a, uh, a nine inch um, DC uh, series motor and uh, running a uh, 300 kilowatt uh, soliton controller. And uh, that's my second controller and it's my third motor. Okay. Um, I've had a few um, breakages and uh, you can understand that um, you know, there's a lot of voltage and a lot of uh, amperage going through these components. Um, the gearbox is a standard uh, Rodeo. If you have a look at the uh, the adapter plate. Yep, you got Good. that made up. Yeah, that's a uh, that's an engineered uh, adapter plate. So we uh, we drew the thing up on CAD, yep. and uh, that runs about five thou out between the front of the motor to the uh, the output shaft. So we got that running really well. Um, no clutch. Uh, we just use the synchros to change through the gears. Start off in second gear and take second gear up to about 60, and then pop her in a third. Um, if you want to go over uh, over 90, you pop her in a fourth. I've never really had enough room to run it in fifth gear. So how long does it last? How many k's do you get to it? Okay. Well, at the moment on this, since 2008, I've now clocked over 71,000 k's. Uh, on the lead acid batteries, when I started, I had uh, 24 6 volt batteries, and uh, that used to give me a range of uh, 50 kilometres. I'm now on a um, 20 kilowatt uh, Nissan Leaf battery pack. And I've lost 500 kilos off the back axle, and I've got a range of 70 k's, but much more reliable. Okay, and um, I've noticed you've got a bit of a, a lift gate or a tailgate at the bottom, at the yeah. back that lifts up. Show us around. Come around. Before we do, uh, inside the cab, I've got a um, a computer there that runs my uh, battery monitoring system, and I've also got a uh, an application where I can change the motor output. So I can, at the push of a button, I can have my daily drive, my wet weather driving, <laughs> or my insane driving, uh, which I haven't really want to kill my batteries just yet. Okay, so that's pretty pretty handy. And did you do that yourself? No, that was just software that was shared on the internet. Oh, excellent. For that controller. Uh, on the back of the 95 Rodeo, we got a 2001 Magna. Uh, oh, okay. has been cut down and ah. chopped. And um, I was wondering where that came from. It looked quite interesting. Yes. Well, what do you do with them after they've... Uh, after they've um, well, they're finished. not worth much these days, are they? No, exactly. Uh, so I was going to build a clamshell back, uh, but I thought, well, it's been engineered, so it gives me the doors, it gives me the boot, and it gives me a nice streamlined cover. Okay. And um, if you just hang by, I'll just open it up for you. Wow, that's quick. So the weight of the, uh, the weight of the back on the hinges is about 20 kilos. Uh, to lift it off, I've got the uh, the gas struts there, and that is the inside of a 2001 Magna. Look, you got some spare space here, mate. I've actually got some spare space. Just and you got to keep your belongings, <laughs> and uh, I'll keep the wife happy. I've got somewhere oh, to put the shopping. That's the charger. charger controller. Yep. Yep. Charger and the 20 kilowatt leaf Listen, batteries. Yeah, leaf batteries. So, this looks a great project. Uh, so overall, are you happy? What's your What's the next thing for you? Well, I'm still married, and uh, <laughs> so I've survived. Uh, I've survived that. I've heard of EV widows before. <laughs> um, no more conversions after this one. This is mine, and uh, I'm happy with it. Oh, it's awesome. Well, thank you very much for showing us around. You're welcome.